As I was uh, boxing up some G-Shocks that I just recently sold, I um, realized that I didn't actually review this watch. I had bought it and it sat in a box and I totally forgot I even bought it. I was digging through some stuff and I discovered it. So before I sent it to Jason, who bought this one and this one, I figured I would just do a quick little video of it. Um, it has a special coloration on it, the shiny red and black with a dash of white over here on the keeper. This is the GA110RD. has the 5146 module. And the you can see i got to get a reflection on the crystal so you can see the, um, the Friday and then the time down here, PM, 237, and then the seconds counting there. You, and you can cycle through that stuff too. Um, I believe, yeah. Yeah, so if you hit this button down here, it'll tell you that it's October 27th. And it still keeps counting the seconds there. So then, obviously, you have the analog display too. Um, it's without the light being on it, or even like, well, see, you can kind of see it there. It almost looks chrome looking. So, if I go like this so you guys can see it, and I scroll through the modes, you have your stopwatch, which this subdial over here is actually um, a speed calculator like a lot of chronographs will have so if you go into stopwatch and then you hit go and then you hit stop all right let me let me reset it so if you hit start on it it's supposed to calculate your speed and i think it's miles per hour so you hit stop and then you've seen that sub down over there move so you're supposed to use up top here super hard to see up top here there's a scale and it, it changes depending on how long you run it so you, you got to take that bar graph up there and it's going all the way up to 500 so and then this is this breaks it down into the tens so it'd be like five what is that a 50 so like 550 mile an hour to go a mile in six seconds and then something like that I think that's how it works. There's some better um, explanations of it online, of course. That's just something, you know, I never use, but that's one function on there. And then there's a timer function, which must have started so you can reset that. And then you can adjust all this stuff too. There's a world timer. It's on London time, so I'll let uh, Jason go ahead and set that. And then there's alarms, and then back to the time. And real quick, let me show you the light on it because this has a single yellowish or amber light if you will I guess it's white which looks cool with the, the way the dial is on this the depth of the dial and then the light in there so pretty cool colorful G-Shock I'm gonna go ahead and get this sent out to you Jason but I just wanted to make sure everybody had a chance to look at it uh, that watches my channel anyway. The GA110RD. I got in a little hurry on that. I didn't give you guys a wrist shot or any measurements, but there it is. I have about a 7 and an 8 inch wrist, but classic G Shock. Um, you know, it's a bigger watch, but it just feels light and comfortable on wrist. Um, and with G Shocks, Whenever you think you have a big G-Shock, there's always a larger G-Shock. Just remember that. So, um, I'll tell you what, I'll show it next to a square, so you can see it. If it you know, that's a common one there, so you can see it next to a square. And then measurements. We're just uh, close to 51 millimeter wide. We're at like 14 thick and then if there is such a lug to lug on this we'll uh, I'll go ahead and call that like about a 55 lug to lug there you go